Hello, awesome admins out there everywhere around the world. Welcome to another episode of Did You Know? I am your host, Jay Stedman. Today, I'd like to ask you, did you know that we have a brand new tool coming out in Spring 22 to explore all of your record-triggered flows? That's right, it is called Flow Trigger Explorer. Let's take a look. Here we are in setup in our org. I'm going to go to that quick find box and type in flow and then select flows from the process automation section in the left hand bar. Now this is going to take us to a pretty familiar experience. You can see that I've got all of my flows here in a list view. Uh, and of course I could edit the fields that I see here or select fields that I want to display or I don't want to display. But no matter what, I am still looking at a list view. And list views aren't always a view that we would like to see, particularly if we have an org that has many different uh, flows that are all running on the same object or are all triggered uh, when a record is created or perhaps updated or perhaps deleted. Uh, so if I want a nice visual representation of what is happening, given those contexts, it's a little bit difficult to see that here. Now, of course, I could try and circumvent that with some naming conventions or I could create specific list views. But if you take a look in this upper right hand corner, you'll see that we have a brand new button flow trigger explorer. So let's click that button and see what happens. Okay, I am here in a brand new experience and there is a bar at the top that says when an account record is updated and note that there's a little arrow next to both. So uh, let's look at updated first. Ooh, interesting. I've got the option to select created, updated, and deleted. And on the account side, I have every single object in my org. So let's go ahead and select a commonly used object for many orgs. We're gonna go ahead and select the opportunity object. Now, uh, I'm gonna start us at the top by saying when an opportunity record is created. Now, what this is doing is it's visually showing me all of the flows that are going to run when an opportunity record is created. And it's broken into a few sections. The first section is fast field updates. Fast field updates are also known as before save flows. Then we have actions and related records, also known as after save flows. And then lastly, we have things that are running asynchronously in the background, typically things that would uh, impact a large number of records or where we want bulk operation. So I'm going to open fast field updates and we can see that when an opportunity record is created, my data cleansing flow is launched. Now I could click directly into the flow, which would open it in a new tab, or I can uh, open the flow from the dropdown or I can select flow details and versions. And by selecting flow details and versions, I get more information about the flow in the right hand side. I can see who created it. I can see when it was last modified, what the version is. And if I've got more than one version, those would appear here. And I'll show you more of that in just a moment. I also have the option to open or deactivate the flow right here from the experience. And please note that the active status is displayed right here in the box. Now, if I open up actions and related records, I can see that I have many flows that are running on the opportunity. Let's go ahead and take a look at this marketing flow. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select flow details and versions here. And I can see all of those previous versions, including what API version, was on and I'm able to open any version by clicking the hyperlink here, or I can activate a previous version. Again, opening the flow, super easy. Activating and deactivating, also super duper easy. Now let's go ahead and close out the sidebar and let's take a look at what happens if a record is updated instead of just created. So I've clicked updated here and you can see that the number of flows has changed. So let's go back created, I have six items, which is visible here. If I switch to updated, you can see now that I have five items. So switching the context or that um, when the trigger occurs, it's going to give us different results. And then let's go ahead and take a look at deleted. Awesome. I have a deletion notification. So let's go back to record creation and fantastic. I can see all of these different flows. 
But what happens when I have this many flows that are all running in the same context? Uh, I have so many um, after save flows that are running here. What happens if I want to slightly change things? What if I want the marketing flow to fire first and then I want other flows to fire after it? Wouldn't it be great if we had some way of ordering our flows? Dun, dun, dun. I am here to show you exactly such a thing. So once more, I'm going to go ahead and select uh, from our little dropdown. I selected open flow. And this flow is a simple flow that is intended to email marketing uh, relevant information about an opportunity uh, when it has been created. And I'm going to go ahead and select the gear icon or the view properties icon in the upper left. I'll select show advanced. And I'm going to scroll down through a number of fields that you can explore but aren't relevant to the conversation we're having right now. But this one, this one is super important. This is trigger order. Trigger order allows us to choose uh, a value between one and 2000. And this will prioritize the order in which our trigger runs. So by putting the value of one here on our marketing opportunity flow, uh, after the record is saved, the first flow that will activate is my marketing opportunity flow. And then I can choose a second value by going into another flow and adding a two to the trigger order. And I can do that for up to 2000 flows per object. Now, you're able to do the same thing for before save flows. So you can order your before save flows together between 1 and 2,000. And you can order your after save flows between 1 and 2,000. It's important to note that a after save flow cannot be executed before a before save flow. That would be pure insanity. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And let's head back. So you can see that the Flow Trigger Explorer remembers exactly where we were when an opportunity record is created, which is really nice if you want to go back and check your work. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't point out uh, one slight limitation to the way that this information is visualized. So uh, we'll always have every one of our flows related to the opportunity in the appropriate area. However, they're all going to be sorted by flow label at this time. So currently, Contracting, management approval, marketing, onboarding, pricing, and sales are running in alphabetical order. We recognize that being able to put them in trigger order is super important. So keep an eye out for a future release. Um, the product team has really identified that as something that's super important, and we really want to get that to you. So now you know. You can go ahead and take a look at all of your flows in Flow Trigger Explorer in any Spring 22 pre-release org. Take a look and go ahead and experiment with the trigger order of execution. I think you'll have a good time with it. Thank you so much for joining us for the Did You Know series. I remain Jay Stedman, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.